<laughs> for all the Aries people, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, please listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Okay, this month is the month of uh, the hurt energies. So a lot of balance uh, is going to be coming in your life. Whatever the situation is, whatever that was out of balance is going to be brought back in balance. So this is going to be good. This month you have the zodiac energies of water and fire. Okay, so the last two weeks in this month is going to be the best for you, um, Aries people. Okay, let's look at your month. Whatever situations you have, whatever problems you have, there is going to be a solution coming up for you guys. Okay, so this is going to be good. So as we look at these five weeks that we have in November before we reach to December I want to say to each and everyone who celebrate Thanksgiving it's um, going to be wonderful um, try and connect with your family in this time I haven't said it to the other readings but yes okay let's look at your week we have the destiny and destiny is actually the wheel of fortune okay so for a lot of you, your life is going to start to um, bring in positive and luck is going to be coming in. With that luck, you have the energy of the moon. You have the energy of the moon. And I'm looking for my glasses. Um, the energy of the moon comes up. And this energy of the moon is going to help a lot of you guys. So whatever the situation is um, in your life, you are going to find out that the the wheel of fortune the destined card is going to bring you but there is going to be some complication because the eye princess is here so you are going to have inner conflicts some of you are going to have inner conflicts some of you are going to be having conflicts with other people because of the inner conflicts that you yourself is going through in the second week and in the second week you have justice so whatever that was injustice um, with your materialistic um, situation because you have a situation that the Empress is here and she's going to help you with your work so whatever situation is here there is going to be a justice and a balance and uh, um, your work situation is going to become much much better so if you're having problems at your work if you're having legal problems this is going to be balanced out and you're going to be a perspective because the energy of the Empress is a hurt energy that is going to come in and especially help you with your work situation so this is going to be positive positive. and the third week is a week of sacrifice it is a water week and it's a week of sacrifice with that you are having to deal with the five of ones the energy of the five of ones but not to worry it's going to be good because you have also the energy of the um, lily and the energy of the lily is as a positive one okay so whatever you have to give up and um, the five of one the conflicts that you are not going to be able to win um, you are going to be best with something else as we move on we have transformation and the transformation you have the five of um, conflicts so you constantly have conflicts in the, the third week and the fourth week and it's the for, uh, in the fourth week it's going to be about money okay so whatever the transformation is uh, it's um, you're going to have conflicts with people about money so uh, be aware and be um, uh, awaken and aware of this situation because it is going to make a lot of changes because the third week and the fourth week with conflict so that's why the energy of solutions there is going to whatever the conflict is you are going to find the solution and the fourth week we are having have a patient you need to have patience whatever you were backstab about in an organization or people in an organization that try to backstab you um, whatever the tower has come and break it down and uh, the ten of swords is in reverse so have patient because whatever the situation is uh, it is now in reverse and uh, there's a cleansing coming in in the fourth week so this month is really a month of balancing out certain 
overthink certain aspect of yourself and by doing that you are going to see there's a lot of conflicts and this is because you have the energy of the moon this moon is um, the intuition and your intuition you're going to have a lot of inner conflicts you Aries people are going to have a lot of inner conflicts because of <clears throat> your dis your uh, um, disposability in this month the number five energies is going to be yours there's going to be a lot of changes in the third and fourth weeks there is going to be conflicts with other people that you have to give up something and there's going to be conflicts about money so in the fourth week so be aware of that whatever that was lied backstabbing and that sort of a thing it's going to finally end in the last week of this month let's look and see what is your no stop gossiping stop gossiping you're going to be um, stop gossiping there is a situation and there is compensate so you'll be comp contemplating a lot of stuff in your life you'll be sitting back and thinking and contemplating a lot of stuff in your life whatever the content whatever you're contemplating about you will find a solution to these problems the energy of gossip is here it comes up for an earth sign also be aware stop gossiping because it is not good get off the telephone people because I can't imagine I'm here and there's so people are always always on their telephone I cannot sleep without my telephone being off it's as if my own energy vibration is being disturbed so I always turn off my tele my telephone so release this gossip people because it's going to hurt you in the long run release the gossip you're going to find out that your intuition your spirit guides are going to be coming up very very strong in this month whatever the situation is whatever the conflicts is because there's going to be a lot of conflicts you have conflicts here three three times you have conflicts okay so whatever is going on um, with this conflicts that is going on there's going to be conflicts at your work and don't worry about the conflicts at your work because uh, um, it's as if the conflicts has to happen so that an energy of vibration will change money is going to come into you there's going to be conflicts about money we are not sure with who but this is going to be conflicts with money it can be with your husband um, with the person you live with or with other people around you so be aware of this situation that is going to be happening energy of the towers always changes whatever you're going to have a situation with money um, that has to deal with an organization or and um, an organization or um, let's say the um, the government or something like that but it can be also um, to pay your car or, or that sort of a thing whatever is happening so as we look and we are getting closer and closer we need to look and see whatever is going to happen in your life in this week because uh, in this month because this month is going to be a month of transformation a huge transformation is coming in and I'm looking for some cards here um, to find out um, what is going to be happening and let's look to see what is the zodiac energies for you guys so let's see the Virgos are going to be coming in the Pluto is going to be here and the Aries so yourself it's going to be you know for you Aries people it's going to be a, a very confusing month but nonetheless for the people who are born today you have two planets to work with and your own characteristic okay then we have mercury coming in for the night people and the Pisces people which are good because and the Taurus Pisces and the Tauruses are coming in so this is going to be good so let's look and see what is happening for you Sun um, Aries people we have a Virgos the Virgos are very nice people you can connect very well with the Virgos and they're going to be here for you Pluto is 
a planet that is just so raggedy it when it whenever it's in your birth chart and then you have the rest of the Aries people coming in and connecting so a lot of Aries people will be connected with themselves especially for the people who were born um, between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. the the energy of the Virgos and the Aries you both are going to connect together and you're going to work out whatever problem you're having with Pluto okay as we look further we're going to see who else so we have the energy vibration of the lunar energy and the lunar energy you have mercury and this is for the people who were born in the night you have mercury you have the Pisces and the Taurus and this is good here you are have the water sign and the hurt sign and they are going to come in and help you so whatever the situation is at your work whatever conflicts that you're going through with other people and that sort of a situation you are going to have the Tauruses and the Pisces because the Pisces people are really nice um, people that help you to find solution to whatever problem that is going on remember and I'm, I'm, I'm expressing on this there is going to be a lot of conflicts you Aries are going to have inner conflicts but yet still the gossiping um, release yourself from the gossiping because um, the, the more you constantly talk about things people and situation you're going to see that it's going you're actually attracting it to you so you need to rip out that off you whatever is happening at your work why there is gossip at your work there is people gossiping at your work stay out of it it is not uh, um, a situation that is for you whatever the situation is that is going on because at the end of the day with um the tr transformation that is coming in and there is a solution for each and every problem or situation that you're going in there is a solution and all you have to do is ask the universal angels to show you the way towards where you should be the next point the next step the next uh, um, action that you should take release whatever that you're holding on to release whatever the conflict is release yourself from things that no longer serve you and you are going to have a positive wonderful month as we look forward and um, the last card that I have for you guys is the energy of the vortex and we work each and every person have their own energy vibration and the vortex energy and let's see what is happening I can't look for things I appreciate in relationship and the color is yellow and it's another number 10 so you have uh, um, number 5 and number 10 and it says I can look for things I appreciate in a relationship so you have to look deeper in relationships especially people who are um, have long-term partners and uh, people who are um, so um, connected to the spirit world this is going to be good so it says I can look for things I appreciate in a relationship so you need to do that you can get the relationship of your dreams when your um, um, chronic thoughts about relationship feels lonely or angry or worried or di disappointed but as you look for things you appreciate in yourself and others as you make the list of positive um, aspect of the past present and future relationship you can train your vibrational energies and which is affecting and matching the vibration of your desire and your perfect mate must then come in it is the law of attraction so this is a wonderful positive card to end your reading I'm asking each and every person out there remember that positive thoughts bring positive things in your life if you are having so much conflicts and so much situation that you have to deal with you are going to receive uh, the gift of knowledge and inner wisdom that is going to help you to move you along to a new place in your life so I'm saying um, again please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign remember that these are just general readings um, for a 
personalized reading you have to make um, or buy a reading on the website and the link is down below namaste until next week